travels to the riding of Elmwood, Transcona in Manitoba to visit Conservative MP Lawrence Tote. We explore his suburban riding and get some insight from MP Tote about balancing constituency, caucus and committee work and other duties in the House of Commons. You know, if, if you're doing particular projects or you want to draw attention to a particular project, like we could highlight that in some of our newsletter stuff that we send out. You know, to MP say, Lawrence like, Tote joins other community leaders at Sam's Place, a popular used bookstore and cafe that on this morning is the site of an important discussion on neighborhood renewal. Well, we're meeting today with two of the community leaders in, in the Elmwood area, and they are part of a group of about eight to ten community groups that are working cooperatively on, on an effort to uh, do a beautification in the area. And beautification means a lot more than just flowers and plants, but also image-wise. He adds that grassroots groups initiated the idea. Anything that comes from the community base will be bought into by the community, and the community will support it going forward. Once the meeting is wrapped, MP Tote drops in, at a basketball camp. I still play once in a while actually in Ottawa. We get together with a group of MPs and staffers and we play on Wednesday nights quite often. So. If you if you miss this out, you gotta make a layup before he makes this out while you're out. Oh, okay, I get you it. it. Toad takes some time out of his busy schedule to shoot some hoops with participants. He talks about his love of the game. It's fantastic and just to be able to get out there on the court for a little while and have a few shots of them. Great experience. I love basketball. I'm a basketball guy from a long time ago back in high school, so it's always great to get back out on that court. He shares what makes this program so unique in his riding. It's a Punjabi basketball camp. Uh, it's run by a, f a former school trustee who also happens to be a Baptist minister. And uh, most of the uh, instructors here have come up from Atlanta, from Georgia, and, and they're you know, part of a, a church mission group there too that do an outreach. After a chat with the program founder, Tote talks with us about the diversity in his riding, which is home to over 80,000 people. The uh, East Indian community and, and the Filipino community would be two of the biggest communities, but we also have a huge uh, number of, of Ukrainians that came here you know, quite a few years ago that uh, came, came to and settled in the Elmwood and Transcona area. So a very big Ukrainian community, German community. We have people, uh, you know, here from uh, Mexico. We probably have about, you know, 30 or 40 different cultural groups living in this riding. The son of immigrants himself, Tote has a good understanding of the needs and aspirations of newcomers to Canada. My parents came here in 1950 from from the Netherlands and so you know I understand the immigrant family and, and the need to integrate and the need to be part of a community and not just your own community but the broader community and they all hold on to their own community interests too but they really engage and be part of a broad community and to me that's just exactly what Canada is all about. The lifelong resident of the riding shares a little about his community. Well essentially I probably have three communities there's uh, Transcona, Elmwood and East Kildonan is also part of it so what they would have in common is for the most part they are uh, residential neighborhoods, uh, but both all three of them have integrated in with, with some commercial development. A few of the countless landmarks and places of note in the riding, Good Neighbors Active Learning Center in Elmwood, the CN Rail Yards, a main employer in the community, Transcona Historical Museum, and Centennial Square, a popular multi-purpose gathering place and site of the weekly farmer's market. That's where we catch up to MP Tote. The market kind of ha didn't have a home before, like it was a bit of a nomad market in different places and a little hidden on the back streets and now it's like right out on the main street and you're seeing more and more. Every week I come out here I see more people. Before entering politics, Tote was a partner in a family-owned printing business. In 2009, he sold his part of the business to enter the political fray. He was elected to the House of Commons two years later. He talks about some of the challenges of the job. We have our committee work, which takes up a good chunk of our schedule when we're in Ottawa. Because I come back to my riding every weekend. And I, it's a lot of flying, and it's a lot of time you know, spent in, in airports, but it's worth it to me. Spending time with family is a top priority. Tote highlights other reasons managing his schedule is key to maintaining that work-life balance, especially when he's in the riding. I need to be back and working in my constituency. I need to be supporting the people in my constituency, whether you know whatever their issues and concerns might be, that we're here, that we're visible, that we're working for them. And he acknowledges his staff are his representatives in the community when he's not there. 
you know, there's got to be somebody here taking care of my constituents' concerns on an ongoing basis. And that's why your staff is so critical and so important to you, both here and in Ottawa, helping you do research and work on your committee work and making sure you're prepared for committee. Because it's not just going to committee, but you got to be prepared. You have to have knowledge of the subject matter. So, In spite of the long hours, Tote wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm not in politics to, to bring attention to myself or to do things for myself. I'm here to give something back to a community that has been great to me and my family for the past 50 years. Like most parliamentarians, finding the right work-life balance is key for MP Lawrence Tote. Reporting from the riding of Elmwood, Transcona in Manitoba, I'm Heather Seaman.